turns out there's also been a huge spike in cases of road rage all across this country. Road rage has more than doubled in a five-year period. And ABC's Gio Benitez takes a look at an American epidemic. A fight that ends with gunshots, all because this man, driving his family on a North Carolina road, says two young men cut him off, an extreme example of road rage. And just last week, a bruising brawl at a California intersection between a lawyer and a retired police officer. Aggressive drivers are a growing threat on the roads. In fact, the most recent study from the U.S. Department of Transportation attributes more than a thousand deaths to road rage, up 170 percent. Let's go for a ride, doctor. Psychologist Dr. Ryan Fuller What's says cars become weapons someone? in the hands of stressed drivers. What's the mindset of someone who's just really angry on the road? Now they perceive someone just cutting them off has just gone one step too far. Watch this. Just days ago, a driver on a Los Angeles highway <laughs> cut off another driver, threw a can at him, and got out of his car to yell. So what do you do if attacked? Dr. Fuller says, first, keep your cool. You want to take a few deep breaths, slow things down. Most importantly, he says, don't make eye contact, because that can be interpreted as a challenge. You know, sometimes we've seen people get out of the car, start yelling. Is that something they should do? The best thing they can do is to stay in their car under any circumstances. Like this man, ignoring the angry Marine ranting outside his window, just keeping his eyes on that road. Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York.